Well, well. What do we have here? Well, hello, outlaw. Don't give me that hello, outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on Schmodown any day of the week, any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka, just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah, you want a schmodown? Oh, I want a schmodown right now. Oh, you want a schmodown I, right I, I now? I want a schmodown right now, Riley. Well, then draw. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia schmodown and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the Movie Trivia Schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the Movie Trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you Movie Trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the Movie Trivia Facebook page, and then one day maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time. Division. I'm Ken Napsuck along with this blinding jacket and Josh <laughs> Makuga. What's up, Ken? Psyched to be here. The tournament, it's that special time of year. It's like the March Madness for movie trivia, only yeah. it's not taking place in March. It's taking place in more of a fall month. Yeah, the leaves are turning, not in our city, but out there uh, where you are, the leaves might be turning. Look, Christian Harloff is out on assignment, and the other man that usually sits in these chairs, uh, Mark Ellis. Yeah. Might be a little busy today. That's because we have Mark Baby Carrots Ellis, who comes into this match at five and three, number three ranked contender in this tournament. And he's got a lot of success in the Ultimate Schmodowns. He's actually won Josh McCuga. Two of them. Two. Last year as a singles competitor, year before that with teams with the one and the only Christian Harloff, the current champion. And if you win this tournament, you go on and face Christian at the Spectacular in December. It's sort of like brother on brother combat. He's uh, he's fighting his way to fight his his soulmate in this movie reviewing world. This uh, this lovely Comic Con nerd slash filled movie. I don't whatever world we're in right now. It's like a brother versus brother combat title, Ken. And it you know it feels a little stressful. This this tournament really brings out the best and worst in people. It does. And Mark Ellis had a tough 2017. Now he's a former team champion, but uh, he made a bid for the championship coming up just short to the great Dan, the great Dan Merle at the spectacular last year. Uh, but after that loss, Mark kind of took a little bit of a break, kind of refocused, found himself, lost his smile, mm -hmm. tried to find it again, and he is back. He had a big return against classy Car Clark Wolf, but lost in that one too. So you got to imagine, Josh McCougar, Mark Ellis is not just here for entertainment. He's here to prove something to himself and to his fans. M Mark Ellis right now is that Ferrari that just keeps breaking down on the side of the highway. You know, he he's a high-performance motor vehicle. 
asshole mm. that comes into these schmodowns. You think he's going to win. It, listen, classy Clark Wolf is not a, a Pinto. Okay, she's not a 1975. No. She is a high-performance motor vehicle, too. And they, they went face-to-face, -face and Clark pulled out the victory. It was shocking to a lot of people. He dressed like Santa Claus and lost to Dan Merle. The first time yeah. Santa Claus has ever lost anything. We're talking gifts over many, many distances and, yeah. and children and everything. But Mark Ellis has yet to really pull out that, that much-needed championship victory what? when it comes down to it. Would you say that Clark Wolf is one of those Teslas that are on the road, you know, yes. helping Sleek, the environment? Stylish. Sleek, stylish. Mark Ellis, more of like one of those uh, Corollas with aftermarket rims. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, That's fair. Yeah. But his opponent today is someone who's a wild card in this tournament. She is Stacy Howard. You've seen her in action in Six Degrees, and she's part of the Misfits with Jay Washington. Yeah. Uh, when, when her and Miss Movies really entered the Schmodown, they were kind of fan favorites, and they have a lot of supporters, but their, their attitude sometimes gone away uh, a, a dark turn, but it's because it's fueled by determination. Yes. And that's what I've noticed. And, and she came out swinging her first singles match against the Vulture Voitko and really kind of proves that. And if you're, uh, to me, if you're laying, if, if she's underrated in your book, then you got to rewrite your book because yeah. she's proven time and time again. She had a seven of eight for, uh, performance in the in her first round yep. and uh, had a tremendous round too. So she's here ready to compete. And uh, you know what, Josh, I think, I think we should uh, hear from these two opponents yep. today what they have to say about each other and this tournament. Well, it's good to be back here in the Ultimate Schmodown. This is really where the legend of baby carrots began. I won the thing last year, and uh, I think I'll probably go ahead and win it again this year. I don't see much competition, and, you know, there's a lot of good competitors, but none are a vegetable like me. I mean, I feel like it's my time to shine. You know, I love my team. I love the Misfits. misfits. I love Brienne, Miss Movie. She's my girl. She's my partner in crime at all times. But today is about proving myself. You know, I have to carry my own weight now. I have to be the one to prove myself just in the singles match alone. You know, I don't have anyone here to help me out today. It's just me. Today's matchup is really a question of universities. I went to Wake Forest. We're known for producing lifelong greats. Arnold Palmer, Tim Duncan, Stacy went to Texas A&M. Who they produce? Johnny Manziel. That's who Stacy is. She's a flash of the pan. She had a nice 15 minutes, and now she's probably looking to work at Blockbuster Video. Um, I get ready for this like I get ready for anything, which is I'm just going to wing it and uh, rely on my strength of crop top and heels and attitude and sass. That's all I got. That's what I'm bringing to the table today, so get ready. The biggest issue I'm going to have in the ultimate schmodown is when I win it, then I'll have to face Christian Harloff in the spectacular at the end of the year. But look, we've been through worse together, okay? We're buddies. We can get over this. We're schmoes. That's what we do. We patch things up after I kick his ass. But first, I have to beat Stacey Howard. I've heard Mark Ellis is a comedian. You know, he's a comic of some sort, but the biggest joke is going to be his score because I'm going to completely dominate him. I'll tell you this right now, Stacey. You're a tremendous member of the Misfits, and Six Degrees is one of my favorite teams to watch, but it's about to get a little colder around that neck of the woods because Baby Carrots is coming to town, and he has a tendency to put chill on anybody who gets in his way, especially when it's the ultimate schmodown. All right, there you hear it there. Mark uh, striking a pretty confident tone. Yeah. Uh, he's put, well, you know, kind of his voice intonation, really. I yeah, mean, well, he's he sounds, a, you know, he's a confident young yep, man. But, yep. but Stacy's, uh, you know, she has this kind of carefree attitude. She doesn't. Her partner's known for her preparation. Stacy just kind of comes in as is. She knows what she knows. Which that kind of carefree approach could lead to surprise victories uh, down the line. Half the time, I don't know if she's heel or if she's face or if she's haste or if she's feel. I don't know. I don't well, think those are actual terms. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's tweener is one. what the wrestling nerds ah, yes. like myself might say. Not bad. Uh, shall we go to some? Tales Let's of the do. tape. Let's do it. Tales I, of the tape. I have some strengths and weaknesses. Do you want to hear them? Yeah, sure. Sure. All Your right. jacket doesn't, but you will. Listen, uh, that's right. the second jacket insult you've made. The third one gets you a swift pinch in the rear. That's well, what old Grandma McCooks used to say. Well, you know what? Then I might want to have a third insult in Woo! the books because I could use that. All right. <laughs> Mark Ellis, he, like you said, he's 5-3, and three, number three ranked contender. His strengths are superhero movies, action, adventure, and wearing sandals in public, Woo! which for a guy like you seems to be the choice these days. Strength. Uh, Stacey Howard, her strengths are rom-com, contouring, and 1999's <laughs> The Mummy. All right. With that, are you guys ready? Let's get ready to schmoda. Let's do it, Ken. They're feeling it. The room's feeling it. I'm feeling All it. All right. I can warm up my vocal cords, but I'll never prepare them for this. Here we go. Introducing first. Representing the Misfits. 
with a record of one win and zero defeats, the number 14 ranked contender, Sassy Stacy Howard. And here she comes. Oh, look, at that little, look dressed like one of yep. my favorites. That is, that, that's right, she is holding the old Pork Chop Express. Oh, oh Jack Burton she is just taking punched out, a, out carrot. a carrot! She punched a carrot! She just punched out a carrot? I never thought in all my days I would see such vegetable violence in all my years! And I must say... That is a punched carrot! That carrot ran like my mother at a church picnic. Yes, yeah. I'll tell you what, competing You're, in the three-legged three, three leg race. You ever done I that? I was gonna say, Mrs. Knapsack, yeah. great in the single competition, not great in the three-legged <laughs> race. That's right. Not great in the three-legged race. And her opponent. Representing Schmoke, No, and Collider. With a record of five wins, three defeats, he's the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown winner, the 2016 Ultimate Schmodown winner, and the former movie trivia Schmodown team champion of the oh. world, the number three right contender, Mark Baby Carrots Ellis! Oh, Mark, uh, Look at that. Entering in in quadruple he's, this is a hospital scrubs. Different outfit. I've, uh, I've never. Oh, he's, he's dressed to the carrot. Uh, the carrot's the back, carrot up. back to The carrot's back up. The carrot back to life. Oh! That is one hell of a human being. He is the Dr. Doolittle of vegetables. Wow. He is the Dr. Fraser Crane of all things rooted vegetables. Mark Baby Carrot Ellis. He's a, an American treasure as well. Him and Brendan Fraser. Wow, that's uh oh wow, that is something new for Mark Ellis there. Woo! A little change of pace for the ultimate movie trivia showdown. Josh, explain the round one rules, and then I'll see if these competitors are ready. I need to buy Ellis some time to catch his breath. Yes, uh, he does not know CPR, but he proved that that doesn't matter. That really <laughs> does not matter the when it comes to re resuscitating a carrot. This is how round one works in the ultimate movie. Trivia Schmodown. Each competitor gets eight questions. They will write the answer on the whiteboard. Please say the what your answer is and write it large enough so that my bad eyes can see it. If you want the question repeated, you can use the JTE rule. Remember, you only get three chances to do that. If you get all eight correct, you will get a bonus point. Ken, are you ready? I am ready. Both competitors, you'll have about 15 seconds to answer or how long it takes me to get a good joke in, all right? So, <laughs> are you guys ready? Mark Ellis. Ken, I feel good about this. Step into my office. I have some bad news for Stacy. All right, pants off. Stacy Howard, are you ready? You know what old Jack Burton says in a time like this? Who? Who? Jack Burton. Me. Ah. Uh, you know what? I got a question for Stacy. What? You paid your dues? <laughs> Paychecks in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> Never All seen right. the movie. <laughs> That's your own damn fault, Mark. Round one. Let's do then it, Ken. With both competitors ready, it's time. It's Schmodown time. Take it away, Josh McCuga. All right, Mark. Stacy, in round one, your first question comes from the category of comedies. Who plays student Max Fisher in the movie Rushmore? Who plays student Max Fisher in Rushmore? Saw this movie in a in a independent theater in Chatsworth, California. Mm. Yeah, uh, turns out they were showing some other kind of movies I afterwards. Saw it I, had, on DVD I had to leave in college. Yeah, three, five, oh, three, two, one, one. Stacy, we are crushing. We're figuring this out. <laughs> yeah, counting's uh, hard. Mark Ellis. I've uh, never been to Chatsworth, never seen Rushmore, but I'm guessing Jason Schwartzman. That is correct. correct. Give him a point. Stacy and Elizabeth Howard. Jason Schwartzman. That's, That's correct. Right. The drummer, of course, of Phantom Planet's first two albums. There you go. All right. Question number two category is animated. Who directed Monsters, Inc.? Ooh. You know, Ken, for a while there, Josh McCougal was an incorporated business in the state of Nevada. Haven't paid my business taxes yeah, in Yeah, which few is years. why you're not allowed to go to that state anymore. Yeah, that's, and that's the truth. Five, right? four, truth. three, two, and one. Pens down. Stacey Howard. Something bird? Incorrect. <sighs> I don't know of a Mark man Ellis? named by the name of something. I crossed out my Brad Bird right and wrote in John Lasseter. Uh, well, incorrect. you're both incorrect. Pete Doctor. <laughs> Pete, Who? Pete Doctor, <laughs> coming from a doctor. What the hell is wrong with Mark Ellis? He's no longer a colleague of mine. Interesting, interesting. Can you get super practice? One, 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 <laughs> one. Third question. Question three comes from Fantasy Sci-Fi. What is the name of the fourth Harry Potter film? What is the name of the fourth Harry Potter film? Ken, you know you're a big Harry Potter guy. What color is your wand? Oh, I'm not a fan. Ah, interesting. I was going to go with a feathery uh, light chestnut. No, no, that's mm. something else. Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Three, two, one, pens down. Stacey Howard. 
Uh, if you'll remember, everyone's hair looked a lot like mine in that film, Goblet of Fire. That is correct. That's correct. Big All fan of the mullets in that one. Yeah. Mark Ellis. Yeah, I went uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Wow, oh, that's, that's incorrect. Bringing him in. Incorrect. An early lead for Stacey Howard, uh, a lot nerd. like the 2014 right. Texas A&M Aggies. Never what? could close. Right. Sports ball, which I'm a fan <laughs> of. All right. <laughs> Question four, comic book movies is your category. Question is, what character became Venom in Spider-Man 3? The character or the actor? The character. What we are character the became Venom? Yeah, and well, you know what? I'm not even going to say it's a JT rule. He needed no, clarification. That's, fine, right? that's yeah. my fault. I read the question wrong. No, you read um, it fine. I have a problem. I take a lot of blame when okay. I shouldn't. All right. And three, two, one. Pens down. Mark Ellis. Uh, that would be played by myself. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with Eddie Brock. Eddie that's Brock correct. is a correct. Point. Put him a point there. Two, two. As they they see. see. I said Topher Grace. Oh, uh, we're tied up a two. Tied, tied up a two. two. It should be correct. It's okay. We went with character. Topher Grace was the actor. All right, Colin. question five I comes from well. Action Adventure. In Air Force One, who played the leader of the Russian terrorists that hijacked the plane? In Air Force One, who played the leader of the Russian terrorists that hijacked the plane? Yeah, you know, if we were to remake that movie now, they wouldn't need to hijack it. No. Probably just fly around in it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. Pens down, please. Stacey Howard. Uh. Uh, Gare Bear Old Man. Gare Bear Old Man is correct. We'll Give it to him on Mark I'm going to write a prescription for more Ken Knapsack political jabs. <laughs> Gary Oldman. Hey, uh, there you go. There it is. They, uh, right. Tied 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three, 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 real three. nail-biter. Question six. Category is horror thriller. Horror thriller. Who plays the creepy next-door neighbor in the movie Disturbia? Disturbia. Like a darkness in the light. Disturbia. Uh, Sorry? I'm, no? I'm going right. to ask that you stop. Ah, I got some points from the crowd, from the ladies. Enjoying my Rihanna. You guys are welcome. Five, four, three, two, and one. Pens down. Mark Ellis. <laughs> I'm going to go with dee -dee 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 David Morse. Oh, that's oh, correct. Oh, the Morse code himself. That is correct. Well done, Mark Stacey Ellis. Stacey Howard. Gray-haired man. Ah. No, no. He had some blonde in there. Yeah, that's right. He's a lovely gentleman. Yeah, he <laughs> used the Just for Men blend. Uh, Mark yeah. Ellis has taken his first lead of the contest going into question seven, coming from 90s movies. What is the signature drink of the dude in the Big Lebowski? Someone uh, in the crowd not Some, happy with that Somebody seems to be upset question, about it. Or they're just drunk already. <laughs> or they have the same signature drink and they're upset they're not <laughs> right. drinking it right now. Uh, all right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, Stacey Howard. White Russian. That's right. Correct. Give it to the dude. Can I just say Gary Oldman again? <laughs> or <laughs> White Russian. White Russian. Oh, zing. Let's hey, hear from Mark Ellis. jokes over here. That's what we call a uh, callback. <laughs> well done, Mark. They work. All Mitzi right. is brown. Thank you. Yeah, you got your uh, set tonight in the Bella Room, 835 to 838. Bring Don't six people. <laughs> Don't be bring, late. Don't be late. Bring six <laughs> people, Mark. <laughs> All right. Category final. Category for your, uh, your eighth question here. Uh, dramas. Who played the lead role of Nadine in the 2016 film Edge of Seventeen? Woo. Edge of Seventeen. Edge of Seventeen. Yeah. Remember yeah. that. Remember that song. I'm S gonna back out of this right now. Ah, okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We got it. Who goes first? Mark Ellis. Haley Steinfeld. Haley That's correct. Steinfeld is correct. Daughter of Jake. Yes. Stacey Hyde. Haley Steinfeld. That's That's right. correct. Let's hear it for so guys. So at the end of round one, Woo! we have a close a competition, good. Josh. This is a good Six round to one. five. Uh, you know, some tough questions there. I, I, I Both competitors brought it today. So we're going to set up for round number two. Round two. <laughs> Each competitor will spin the wheel once. If they like that, they can stay on it. If it lands on opponent's choice, the opponent can choose whatever they want. If they don't like it, they can spin again. However, what they land on in the second spin, they have to keep forever. They will get four questions. If they answer the first way, that's two points. If they ask for multiple choice, it drops down to one point. Their opponent can steal if they answer incorrectly. Again, if they'd like a question repeated, they have that three option with the JTE rule. Mark Ellis in the lead, six to five. Mark, would you like to spin or would you defer? Classic Gary Anderson style. You know, Josh, I was writing in my nightly journal to uh, myself and my friend Vincent Del Pino, ah. and I said, should I let Stacy spin first? And I think I'll be a gentleman. I think I'll be a man of class of dignity. 
and allow the first spin to go to Kurt Russell there. Interesting. All right, put the pressure move. on Stacey. Chivalry is not dead, Ken. All right, Stacey. And neither Doogie Howser references. That right. is true. That is true. All right, uh, give us a big right. Jack Burton spin. Yeah, okay. give it the Can old Jack Burton. Can I just say for Burton. a second, we look like brothers. <laughs> we really uh, do. <laughs> that is kind of funny looking. Yes, I see it now. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Mark has very feminine features. That's true. He's a that's feminine gentleman. Wait, wait, what? Where you, is that? You heard me. Soft skin, lovely eyes. Come on. Okay. Oh, she's go. Oh, okay. 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 okay, she just moved it to a category. Yeah. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's <laughs> illegal or not. I haven't checked and it's we'll, totally legal. It's we'll legal. We'll allow this. No, it's okay, it's it. it is totally legal. Hey, fine. spin the wheel. Okay. <laughs> Good spin, spin, Great spin, spin. Stacy. There you spin go. Spin is it. Spin is that it. That spin is brought to you by Curves Gym and Ooh. Classics. Classics. She that's is a quick no spin. hesitation. That's a quick spin. Nope. Spinning again. She's spinning again. Spinning again. Now she I, needs to rip it. There you go. All right. Stacy goes spin. to the gotta LA keep this Fitness one. here in Hollywood. Yeah. Been working on her <laughs> arms and shoulder muscles. And oh. she has horror thriller. thriller. Uh oh. Ooh. It is a All scary right. category for most people. She's got to. Uh, she's got to keep it. She's got to keep it. Here we go. Four questions in this Whoa. category. Great horror right. movie, Doctor Giggles. Oh, there you go. There you go. Doctor nope. Mario, favorite nope. video game. Hey. All right. All right. Stacy, are you ready? Four questions in this category. You have horror thriller. First question. The final conflict is the subtitle to the third film in which horror series? Um, multiple choice. A, The Omen, B, A Nightmare on Elm Street, C, Halloween, D, The Exorcist. Mm. Need an answer in five, four. Can you repeat three. the uh, answers available? Sure. A, The Omen, B, A Nightmare on Elm Street, C, Halloween, D, The Exorcist. Halloween? Incorrect. Mark, could you steal? I'm going to go with The Omen. That's that correct, is correct. For a point. Give him a point. Mark with a steal here. Yeah. A smattering of applause for the doctor. Obviously, All right. don't trust him. This American <laughs> health care system is in shambles, Mark. I'm free. <laughs> Second what question. What kind of doctor are you? <laughs> don't worry about it. Just come into the <laughs> office. <laughs> second, second question, Stacy. Who plays journalist Paul Avery in the 2007 mystery thriller Zodiac? Uh, Robert Downey Jr. That's that correct. correct. Two points. <laughs> oh, it's Tie Stacey game. Howard ties it up. Third question. Third question. You'll find Mort Rainey, a depressed author suffering from writer's block who caught his wife having an affair in this psychological thriller. Multiple choice. All right. A, Secret Window, B, Ghost Town, C, Stir of Echoes, D, The Paper. Secret Window? That's correct. That's correct. correct. Nice. Stacey with the lead. Nice Josh McCuga guess right there. Oh. I'm proud of you. I am right. proud Rainy. of you. There you go. Totally Mort bad. Rainey. Not going well for old Mort. Mort. Oh. All right. Fourth qu question. What? Fourth question, well Stacey. Done, Croissant? Yay, yum. <laughs> what is the only Alfred Hitchcock film to win a Best Picture Oscar? She looks concerned. The mullet is sweating. The answer. Five, five, four, three, two. Rope? Incorrect. Incorrect. Incorrect for Steele. Mark Ellis. I don't think it's uh, Psycho. Um, that's where nine went. Uh, uh, I don't think it's Vertigo. That didn't, wasn't kind of crazy. Thanks for his IMDb here, Mark. Right. You didn't need an answer. <laughs> I'm gonna you're stalling. Say, you're stalling. Come I'm on, Doctor. Say, uh, four. Three. Three. Um, the Birds. Incorrect. Incorrect. We're looking for Rebecca. Ah. Thank you, William Bibiani, out there ah. in the crowd. All right, uh, uh, Mandalay burned, sorry. guys. Mandalay not a burned. sorry, Bip. Not a uh, a great round, but not a bad one. Not terrible. Stacy has a lead. She as Mark does. Ellis steps she up does. the wheel to spin. Oh, the round's over. The I round thought I had more over. chances no. to get points. There we go. Four questions is all you get. We're sorry, Stacy. <laughs> Good you. spin. Did I have to go? Did I have to go ahead to spin? Yeah, yeah, that was the go You're ahead, good. Mark. Yeah, you got it. Ooh, uh, good uh, on his choice. Uh, coming up on, ooh. what is that? Spin it again. Quentin Tarantino, right. he's got to spin it again. Spin it again. Spin. Get no, the big spin. Get the big spin. 
All right, spin is in. Good spin, good spin. Trying to avoid. It's just I just do a spin. I'm not looking to show off. Okay. Just, I think he just sure, likes to spin sure. the wheel. That's all right. That's all they right. They went to Wake Forest. They're big yeah. on spinning things there. Get past Q. And he is oh, 90. 90s. 90s. Here we go. This is the category that Ken. felt me uh, against Clark Wolf. So, Mark. Ellis, in 90s movies, a decade when you were dominating the basketball courts as a young man there in Thank Winston you. Salem. Uh, who directed the 1998 film Hope Floats? Who directed Who directed it, Mark? Um Looking for an answer in 5. Uh, give me multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it A, Forrest Whitaker? D, Griffin Dunn. C, John Turtletaub. D, Mark Lawrence. Um, I'll say D. D, Mark Lawrence. Incorrect. <laughs> Stacy Howard for the steal. B? Incorrect. We were looking for A, Forrest Whitaker. Wow. Forrest Whitaker? Forrest Whitaker directed what? Hope No old Saw Guerrero got behind the yes. mic for that one. All right. E, question two, Mark. In Father of the Bride, 1991's Father of the Bride, Steve Martin's character owns a company that produces what? Hmm. Stacy apparently knows. Yeah, I'll do, um, I'll do uh, multiple choice. You're going to do multiple choice. Is it A, sneakers? B, coffee makers? C, candy? D, basketballs. A, sneakers. A, sneakers is correct. He has game. tied it up after two questions here. I thinking paper products. Well, you know. <laughs> then I heard sneakers, and I was like, wait a minute. I've seen that movie. Sneakers were also produced by the Parrish family in Jumanji. Question three. Who played, more you know. <laughs> who played Kevin McAllister's mother in Home Alone and Home Alone 2? Uh, Catherine O'Hara. That is two correct. Boys. Kevin 2. Now he's feeling the flow, doing the bull dance. Back in the lead. Finally, his <laughs> final question in round number two. What movie starred Tommy Lee Jones as a parole officer who supervises Ashley Judd's character? Hmm. <clears throat> As a pro officer who supervises Ashley Judd's character. Uh, I'm going to need multiple choice on gonna that Going to need one. multiple choices. Is it A, U.S. Marshals, B, High Crimes, C, Double Jeopardy, D, The Client? Uh, double Jeopardy. That is correct. Give him a point. I was worried after she was in U.S. Marshals and like that was the plot at the beginning of the movie before <laughs> oh. he had to go after Wesley Snipes. Close. Like Close. A lot of stuff going through Smart the old character. there. of, of uh, multiple choice there. Now, after yeah. round two, Mark Ellis up 11 to 8, but this is not a runaway, Ken. No, it could be anyone's game as we go into round three. This is where the game will come down. <laughs> People will be made or they will be broken. Yes, It correct. is like a gladiator fight here. Just Mark has better sandals. So yeah. <laughs> this is how round <laughs> three <laughs> works so you will pick uh, three numbers between one and 20 they correlate correlate correspond with a category they also correlate your first your first question is worth two second question worth three final question worth <clears throat> five points there was no stealing there's no multiple choice and there was no funny business mark ellis you're in the lead 11 to 8 give me three numbers Put a lot of thought into this. Um, I'm going to go back to my classic, the Washington Redskins quarterbacks who have won a Super Bowl. That'd be Joe Theismann, Mark Rippon, Doug Williams. Seven. Okay. Eleven. Okay. And 17. Seven, 11, 17. Mark Ellis. Yeah. Stacy and Elizabeth Howard, what are your three numbers? Six, 12, 16. Six, 12, 16. Right. She went really there close to my numbers just to, I, be, it, just to get in my head. head. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. She or is I? up in it. All right, Ken, I'll, uh, go I'll ahead. administer these questions. Yeah. Now, Stacey, you were down here. You're going to need to at least get uh, get a couple in here, as you know. So you Thanks for the reminder. You, you're welcome. You're welcome. I nice try work, to help Jack out. Nice um, all right, you chose 6, 12, and 16. Your two-point question will be, and uh, you chose number six. That is Oscar movies. Oscar movies. So two points. Adrian Brody won an Oscar for what Roman Polanski directed film? The Pianist. That's correct. That's Two correct. Points. Correct. A lot Just of people may pronounce those. it pianist. Pianist. Uh, only you. Cool. Cool. Is that cool, what cool, kind cool, of doctor cool. you are? The All doctor? right. The doctor. All right, <laughs> Stacy, you are still behind here. To kick it back to Mark, you'll need to answer this three-point question. You chose number twelve. That is correlated and corresponding to the category <laughs> of sports movies. Oh. Three-point question. Three-point question, Stacy. <sighs> In The Mighty Ducks, 
Gordon Bombay is forced to coach a local youth hockey team as punishment for drunk driving. What was his profession? He was a lawyer. That's, That's correct. correct. Three wow. points. <sighs> the Mighty sassy up. one quack, grabs quack, one. Quack, quack, quack. That is the flying V right, right. there. Well All done, right. Stacy. <laughs> Uh, let's move over to Mark Ellis. Sends Mark. it back to Mark Ellis. Mark <laughs> Ellis, you chose as your first number seven. Joe Theismann. Joe Theismann, mm -hmm. the greatest broken leg in the history of That's sports. That's right. Super for, Bowl 17 before that. For two points in war films, war films, who plays the character nicknamed Bible in David Ayer's Fury? In five, four, three, two, one. Shia LaBeouf. That's that is correct. correct. Two wow, points. Mark Ellis it ties is it all up. tied up. Okay. And it's going to send <laughs> it back. It's going to send it back to Stacy Howard for a five point question to take the lead. The game is tied at 13. You chose number 16 for your five point question. The category is Merrill Streep. Merrill Streep. Merrill Streep. Five point question. Who plays Meryl Streep's husband in the 1994 crime thriller, The River Wild? <sighs> Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Who plays Meryl Streep's husband in the 1994 crime thriller, The River Wild? I can feel the heartbeat in my chest. This is a five, tense, tense moment. Four. I don't know three, what. Clint Eastwood. Incorrect. Incorrect. David Strather. David straight, Strather. Straight straight hand. Oh, straight yeah. Hand. I loved David him, though, in Eight Men Out. He yes. was good in that. Hell of a okay, guy. but you missed the question. The game is still tied, though. 13 13, Ooh. which means it's Mark not Ellis. just the dark level on Corson. It is the score of our game. Mark Ellis, we're going back to you for your next question three pointer for a possible win. You chose number 11. Mark Rippin, number uh, 11. Super Bowl 26. Mar and he uh, has a Super Bowl win better than Dan Marino, That's right? Correct. Okay. Absolutely. Mark, your category you chose 11 is 80s, 80s movies. I was alive for, in that decade, Josh. For three points, which Academy Award winning actor directed Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder in the film Stir Crazy? Stir crazy. The room is silent again. This is, this is some, some kind of schmo down here. Tension is palpable. People are on pins and needles. We need an answer though soon. In five, four, three, two. Can you repeat the question? One. I will repeat the question for three points. Which Academy Award winning actor? directed Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder in the film Stir Crazy. The doctor seems to be confused, befuddled, riddled with crime in five, four, three, two, one. Dustin Hoffman? Incorrect, we were looking for Sidney Poitier. Mm. Sidney Poitier. Mm. We go to Mark Ellis's final chance to take down Stacy Howard. I know. If he does not beat, if he does not answer this correctly, we go into sudden death overtime. This is one hell of a result happening yeah. here, Ken. Shows down. number 17. <laughs> Shows 17. 17. Doug Williams. Doug 22. Williams in coming of age films. Yeah. Mark Ellis for five points. I love it. In American Pie. What country is the exchange student Nadia from? In five, four, three, two. Repeat the question, please. We're getting one repeat the question here. In American Pie. What country is the exchange student Nadia from? The 
the studio has never been more on edge. This is one hell of a showdown. <sighs> I'm going to say Russia. Incorrect. Whoa. We're looking for Czechoslovakia oh, or Slovakia. Right. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. We are tied. Yeah. We are going to sudden death, Ken. Ah! We're going sudden to sudden death. death. All right, we are here in sudden death overtime, Ken. How sudden death overtime works is both competitors have whiteboards in front of them. We are going to ask questions from categories. Yeah, that's right. They are going to answer point. questions on the whiteboard. If they both get it correct, we move on to the next category. If one of them gets it correct and the other one gets it incorrect, they are the winner. If they both get it wrong, again, we move on to the next question. Sudden death. Here we go. Mark Ellis, Stacy Howard, tied 13-13. Carrots versus Sass in the first ever sudden death overtime in the Ultimate Showdown this year. All right. <laughs> so Fact. Here we go. Exclusive. Category of famous actors and actresses. What character was played by John Cleese in 1981, Kevin Costner in 1991, and Carrie Elwes in 1993? Both going to write down their answer here. We'll count them down in a bit, but uh, yeah. here we go. This is, the, I mean, this is, you can hear Can I use beating. another repeat the question or no? Yeah, you, you, you can. can. That's your last one. Last one. Okay, repeat the question. Okay. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, you sure you don't want to save it? <laughs> it is sudden death. Here we go. What character was played by John Cleese in 1981, Kevin Costner in 1991, and Carrie Elwes in 1993? Oh, okay. All Took right. me a second. All right. Answer in five, four, three. Two and one, uh, Mark Ellis. That would be Robin Hood. That's that correct. correct. Stacey Allen. Can't Stacey believe it took me that long. Robin Hood. Robin right. Hood. The game right. goes on. 14, 14. 14, 14. Here we go. I would have been upset if you let me off that. Didn't have go ahead, first Ken. Next. Have been All right. All right. Guys, the game continues. The game continues. Free baseball. Free baseball. All right. Category is dramas. This 1960s film became the first and only X rated movie in history to win. The best picture. X rated films. Big time. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Stacy Howard. Midnight Cowboys? That's correct. correct. I what? had Midnight Cowboy, but I wrote Deep Throat and crossed Whoa! it out. So. Oh, oh my goodness. The winner. Stacy. Stacy. Howard. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Wow. The right. train, the, the, the car accident that is Mark Ellis' showdown career just keeps happening, Ken. What is going on? Perhaps Mark has a future in community theater as a doctor type character or some kind of per skit performance where vegetables are re revived. But Stacy Howard just made a, a mark on this tournament, upsetting probably some brackets. I told you. Do not underestimate or underrate Stacey Howard. Underestimate, under, 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 under underestimate, underestimate. I will tell you what, say it's sassy Stacey Howard took out Baby Carrots. She played the Jack Burton card well. You know what old Jack Burton says? He wins Schmodown. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. You know, I had Stacy's hair from 1987 to 1992. It Woo! is a good luck hairstyle. Yes. That is good. Let's go to Jen Sturger, who was with the winner and the loser. Holy schmodown, Stacy! Oh my god, that was amazing. That was insane. You just knocked out baby carrots from the competition. How are you feeling right now? I honestly, I'm shocked. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I had this swagger going in, but it was fake swagger. I was like, we're just gonna have some fun with this and see where it goes. And I, I cannot believe that that just happened. Do you feel like you pulled some superpowers out of the mullet today? I, I pulled stuff <laughs> straight out of my ass today. I mean, I had some guessing. I had some, some shit talking. I don't know what just went down, but here I am, the winner, and I. I can't believe it. You did use all of your JTE rules. Were I you did. a little nervous going into that sudden death that you might need them? Um, I didn't think about it, but then when the Robin Hood question came up, it, it took me a second. So I was like, I'm going to use it because if I don't use it now, I felt like he, I saw him writing immediately. He knew it. So I was like, it's now or never. I'm going to use it. So I did. So Thank having God. struggled in the teams with, uh, with six degrees, how does it feel now to have won in singles? Like that's gotta be boosting your morale a little bit. It does. It, it feels like I'm finally able to really prove myself as a singles competitor and pull my weight. 
you know, my other... Pull your weight with your yeah. little monster truck. Yeah, yeah, pull my, tug my <laughs> weight, tug it with the Pork Chop Express. Um, I feel like now I'm like a real member of the team. You know, I've really proven myself. Other people have beaten huge competitors in the Schmodown, have great entrances, and have really pulled out all the stops, and now I feel like I'm one of them, like I belong. Absolutely. Well, you definitely do. It's so funny because you and I were talking when we were, you know, fixing your hair. Combing out the Sorry. mullet? You mean? Yep, yep. We yeah, were combing yeah, out the mullet. That's one does. You're talking and you were really nervous. You were like, I yeah. really don't know if this is going to happen. I don't know yeah. if I'm going to make it to the next round. And you're like, I'm just going to have fun. Yeah. I mean, it's not oh, getting gosh. any easier from here on out for you. You know what? Here's the thing. Rachel, as a fellow female competitor, she's my friend outside the Schmodown and in it. I respect her a lot. And I feel like if I went up against her, it would be a good, even, you know, even nice back and forth, yeah, nice back and forth. Um, so, you know, I respect her so much. If I went against her and won, it'd be amazing. But if I lost, I'd be proud of her still. You know, I'm coming for her, but I know she's coming for me, too. So. So sassy, yet so polite and well-spoken. Well, congratulations, Stacey. Thank you. We are so excited to see what this journey holds for you. Thank you so much, Jim. Right? Um, Mark, that was a rough one. That was a rough way to go out. Yeah, I just got out of surgery, Jen. And, uh, <laughs> doesn't look good. Prognosis is not promising for uh, this guy in the ultimate schmodown, but hats off for uh, surgical masks off to uh, Stacey. She really played well. And if I had to lose, I guess I'm happy that it builds up somebody who I think is a worthy competitor in this league, one of the uh, the bright young stars of the ultimate schmodown. And you, look, you had her against the rails the entire time. So you had. Well, that sounds weird. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you had to take it there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you played really well the first round. The second round, you mm -hmm. hit 90s. And I saw, like, the look of panic go over your face just for a second. I because mean, that's what took you down against your match I, with Clark. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought I had a pretty good time living in the 90s, but <laughs> it really has not been my friend in the movie Trivia Schmodown. So when I got it, I was like, I, when you score, like, in 80s or a 90s, you know you're going to be able to get a couple questions right. But you know it's a very hard round to sweep. And that's what I was looking for because I wanted no part of Stacy in round three. I knew that she could pull up some good answers that I might miss a couple. I've seen American Pie 50 times probably. Yeah, what happened there? Just could not conjure the country i just there's I, only a couple slavias to choose from dude I, there's just a, uh, her name was nadia i was thinking nadia komenich i was i didn't know where to go with that so i uh, couldn't get the right country and then going into sudden death i got robin hood i knew that one congratulations did. it was the buzzer <laughs> round if it was the old days the buzzer round boom and i move on to the next round but now we have the overtime rules for everybody and uh i just I don't know why Deep Throw is at the forefront of my brain. <laughs> I, uh, Me neither. I actually don't watch uh, X-rated movies. I don't watch porn at all. Like, it's not my thing. So Because your girlfriend's not at all watching this. I all. use the imagination. I'm a Muppet baby when it comes to that. And so I don't really watch a lot of uh, bad movies in that area. But I know Midnight Cowboy was a trivia question. And if actually you look, I crossed out Deep Throw because I knew it wasn't right. And I started writing the M from Midnight Cowboy, but they called time. And oh. it just, it was right there. And Stacy knocked it out of the park. And I hit a little <laughs> bunt that just, I couldn't leg <laughs> you out. You just tapped it and it was just straight to the pitcher. Yeah, yeah. So <gasps> just uh, not not my best performance today. But, um, you know, it, it's, I'm here to save lives. And uh, somebody uh, died on the table today, but that doesn't mean somebody's going to die on the table tomorrow. Oh, Jesus Christ. And probably Mark. they will. <laughs> <laughs> Probably a so lot now, of so, so now that you're out of the tournament, yeah. are there any people you're absolutely rooting for? Oh, I'm not watching anymore. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go lay on a beach for a couple months, sip some margaritas, and just get all this ultimate schmodown mess out of my head. Now, I mean, I think if I was looking at somebody, clearly I'm going to be gunning for Stacey because I think that she really has the wealth of knowledge that you need to be able to make a run in this tournament a lot like what I did last year because I was not the best competitor in last year's tournament. I just had the right plays, and Stacey has the ability to play the game well even if she doesn't know as many answers as somebody else. So I think you can always look out for your Bibiani's and your Levine's of the world, but but uh, I think Stacy's one I'm going to be pulling for. Awesome. Well, no, it's not so awesome at all. I'm actually very upset. I don't know. It's fine. I'll It'll be, be okay. okay. Yeah. You should give Johnny Laquasto these scrubs back, though. <laughs> they don't fit you at all. This is like this is why you don't have huge friends that work in the emergency room because um, <laughs> not my size. Oh, back to you guys. So you hear there, uh, you hear there, man. Stacy is uh, is excited. Pumped, she's primed for victory. Ken. Looking to make the mark. Yes. And Mark Ellis. He has some questions. He does. He has some soul searching. He has maybe uh, a date with the carrots to see if he turned his back on him. Yeah. 
Yes. You know, here's what on. happened. You know, we were all looking for that match of destiny. The Mark Ellis Christian Harloff Ultimate Schmodown winner versus current champion. And we were robbed of that today by a young woman from Texas that uh, and a man dressed as a as a doctor. Apparently you know, malpractice is a real thing, Ken. You don't dress up like doctors and lose. So uh, I think uh, at this point, we're just making words up, yep, Josh. Yep, That's good. Yep, yep. That is the ultimate trivia schmodown competition for the day. Yes. That is a big match. You guys are going to like, comment, put your thoughts and opinions down here. Don't forget to get the full details of us on the Schmodown Rundown, which is on the SK Podcast Network. Of course, I have Inside Schmodown Live every Thursday, 2 p.m. Pacific. I'm sure we'll be talking about this match. <laughs> All right, what is going on, everyone? Frank here from The Rundown. And let's just get right into this one because we had yet another huge upset in the tournament as Stacey Howard defeats Baby Carrots in... Sudden Death. Really quickly, let's see how we got there. This was a nice back and forth in the first round with Ellis earning a 6-5 to five lead. And in the second round, Ellis was able to build on that a bit as Stacy was only able to scoop up three points in that round compared to Ellis's five. So she ended up trailing 11 to eight, heading into the third. Now, only six people in the entire history of the Schmodown have come back from a three point or more deficit. And this was by far not even close to being over as her teammate Brienne showed us just last match. Sure, the odds were against Stacy, but with a little luck, she managed to survive and get to sudden death as Ellis was unable to answer one of his two final questions that would have given him the win. And that is highly surprising because between his three and five pointer, he is a combined seven for 11 heading into this match. Now, although he did run into this problem in his last match against Clark Wolf, so there is that. But what may even be more surprising is Alice losing in sudden death on a question in which he knew the answer. He just couldn't pull out in time. So Stacy wins this one, 15 to 14. You know, this wasn't the most accurate match we've ever seen, but with the dramatics at the end, it just doesn't get any better than this in tournament play. Now, as we take a closer look to each player's individual stats for the match, We'll see that Mark Ellis answered 12 out of 19 for a 63% accuracy rate. Shifting over to Stacey Howard, she answered 11 out of 18 for 61% accuracy rate. Now how can that be? How can her accuracy rate be lower than Mark Ellis and she's still the winner? Well if you look at percentage of points earned, she's at nearly 52% while Mark Ellis is at 45%. That's usually an indication that the player who won probably performed much better in the third round, and that was the case here. Mark Ellis only answered the two-pointer, while Stacey Howard answered the two and three for 50% of the points in the third round. And now with this win for Stacey, she is now 2-0 and in the Schmodown. Now only eight people have started their career 2-0 and prior to this match. Sitting at number one all-time best performance going 2-0 and is Rachel Cushing. She answered 86% of her questions, 25 out of 29. She sits ahead of players like Drew McQueenie, Dan Merle, Clark Wolf, Sam Levine. And at number six, this is where Stacey Howard enters, as she's answered 22 out of 31 for nearly 71% correct. And I should note here that this does not take into account what they did in the free-for-all. This is only what they've done in league and tournament play. Now, as we take a look here at the bracket, yes, Stacey Howard is set to go up against Rachel Cushing. Both players are 2-0, so one of them is going to become the sixth player in Schmodown history to start their career 3-0. Only Dan Merle, Clark Wolf, Mark Riley, JTE, and Josh McCuga have accomplished that feat. Now as we look to update our Schmodown record books, let's take a look at all-time point leaders. Guess what, Mark Ellis? You may have lost the match, but you did move up a few slots on the leaderboard from 10 to 7th. You are now ranked 7th with 135 points through 9 matches. It's unfortunate with his early tournament exit because he had a real shot if he went on a run here to probably slide into that 5th, possibly 4th spot, taking over Dan Merle. But with an early exit, 
We're just going to have to wait and see how long Mark Ellis can climb up that leaderboard once again. Alright, if you're looking for more stats and info on your favorite players and teams, go follow at SD Rundown Stats on Twitter for more. And if you want to listen to full breakdowns and analysis of every single match, be sure to check out the Schmodown Rundown podcast every Saturday on the SK Plus YouTube channel, as well as on the Schmoes No podcast feed on iTunes. All right, that is it. This has been your post-match Schmodown breakdown. Hey! Okay, wait, what? Okay, first of all, where were you? Car got a flat tire. Somebody did it. I think it was the dude. For, you know, that, you know, he's stop. probably drunk. I swear to God, it's not my fault. Listen, <laughs> understand. Past that. What happened? We, we need to know right now. I won. What? No. I won. Word. I won. Yeah. Wait, listen. Wait, wait. No, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> what, what, what? That means you will now play Rachel. Cause so this all works. Okay. We can make all this happen. We get all this together. You, you, Rachel, make this whole missing thing work. Plan. It's gonna be a whole good plan. Okay, now look, we need to go celebrate. I need drinks, and I gotta have something happen. So, which way are we going? This way. Let's go. This way. Okay, let's go. She won! I won! Well, well, what do we have here? Well, hello. Outlaw? Don't give me that hello outlaw crap. You've been ducking me for far too long, Riley. Oh, ducking you? Hardly, dude. I'll take you on schmo down any day of the week. Any time. Any day, any time? Any day, any time, Roka. Just like last time. Uh, well, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I owe you for that one. Oh, yeah. You want a schmo down? Oh, I want a schmo down right now. Oh, you want a schmo down I, right I, now? I want a schmo down right now, Riley. Well, then draw. Oh, it's getting hot in here. And if you think these two take movie trivia seriously, you should take the fans into consideration. Y'all have been begging for your shot at the movie trivia schmodown, and now you get your opportunity. We are proud to introduce the movie trivia schmodown app. Fans will be able to play all trivia modes and compete against your favorite competitors, join a league, or play a friend one-on-one. -on -one. After you accrue enough points, you can unlock the inner geekdom division and play in another format. Find some fans from all over the world, climb up the rankings, deem a champion, challenge a champion, but make sure you've earned it. We're so excited for y'all to finally get your chance to play the movie trivia Schmodown. This app is for all you movie trivia fans who have ever said, I totally knew that. How'd you miss that? It's for everybody. Make sure you guys download it right now on iTunes for a one-time fee of just $3.99. And make sure you request to join the movie trivia Facebook page. And then one day, maybe you can challenge the likes of Aroka, O'Reilly, maybe even your old pal, Baby Carrots. I'll be your Huckleberry. It's Schmodown time.